And here are the springs, and uh, that spring came apart nice and easily. This spring, however, as you can see, the very last smallest leaf has uh, broken. So I think I may need to have to replace them after, after all. And they may not be repairable, but um, as you can see, there's a fair amount. Let's try and focus on that. A fair amount of rust, surface rust, and uh, actually they've eaten away. You can sort of see there. So perhaps it is worth just replacing those springs. All right, shock absorbers are off. This one moves quite nicely. Um, unfortunately, there's a crack. I don't know whether you can see it, a crack through there. So I'll probably have to replace the whole unit because I can't weld it. It seems to be an alloy of some description. This one here, to move it takes quite a lot of effort. It's not, it doesn't move as freely as the other one. So uh, I've got to work out that connection because that bush is knackered on both of them. More to learn. So the brake plates, um, Suspension supports the uh, rear diff have all been painted with red oxide and I changed my mind about the um, disc brakes. I've used um, barbecue stoke paint. Um, Silver is rated up to 650 degrees centigrade. I believe black only goes up to about 450, but uh, we'll soon see. It might just peel off, it might not. Stainless steel bolts and um, copper grease. So hopefully those will be able to undo in the future. As you can tell, it's all been wire brushed. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is clean up the hubs and then the uh, ends of the half shafts and give those a quick paint of red oxide as well. The painting table's got a bit fuller. And you can see I've got axles and dampers, and then I've done the top end of the uh, half shots. So this is the before photograph, basically before I start any of the cleaning up in here. Seems to be painted with some kind of wax oil or um, a petrol tank. I've managed to get most of the screws undone. And of course the screws that won't undo are all around here. So that means when I'm using an angle grinder, I have to worry about fumes and things. And then going out, um, I'm just going to show you underneath. You can see there's my trusty angle grinder. I don't know whether you can see, but I've taken quite a bit of crud off there. Um, you can see on the far side, perhaps, that it's still coated. I haven't gone there. But on this side, I've removed some of it. Um, there is some rust heading towards this. This is the driver's door. There's some rust in there in the bottom there but I don't think it's too serious and if I need to replace it, it's fairly straightforward. So the basic plan is to remove all this crud and um, clean it up and paint it.